Perth Wildcats have heaped praise and plenty of pressure on New Zealand ahead of their semi-final showdown starting on Thursday. The, ca the Cats declaring the breakers should be wary of the reigning champs. History says it's certain to be physical with the likelihood of fireworks. I think they're going to come out huffing and puffing in the first quarter. The best of three semi-final series to start on New Zealand's home courts. The Breakers, the team to beat for the championship after losing just six games in the regular season. We're still the reigning champions. They're going to be pretty nervous playing us and um, I'd be nervous playing us. And um, there's, there's certainly a lot of expectation uh, on them to win so I, I certainly do think there'll be a bit of pressure there and that'll creep in whether they think it will or not it's definitely going to creep in. They're the ones who are going to have a lot more pressure uh, with the, they're, they're playing the, the national pride that it's New Zealand versus Australia which is fine because uh, we're representing Australia. The Wildcats banking on their big game experience to cause the upset. The reigning champs needing a repeat of last season's finals performance from Kevin Lish. He's a big time player he likes the uh, he likes the one HD games and he likes the commentators talking about him so I I think, I think when the cameras come on, he'll uh, put his pretty smile on and he'll be OK. To avoid any distractions ahead of Thursday's clash, both sides have refused to travel to Melbourne for tonight's MVP awards. The decision expected to be costly. A fine of around $10,000 per club is hovering over their heads. Lockie Reid, 10 News. The Perth Wildcats are certain to be fined after failing to attend tonight's NBL Awards in Melbourne, focusing on their playoff series with New Zealand. Cats guard Damien Martin is poised to take out the NBL's Best Defensive Player Award, but along with his teammates has remained here in Perth preparing for their trip across the Tasman. Teammate Brad Robbins and coach Rob Beveridge also snubbed the awards after a decision by the Breakers to boycott the event. The Wildcats weren't prepared to give their opponents any advantage. I wasn't happy about it, but you know, I was prepared to go over. Uh, I think they probably should have done that as well. Both teams face a $10,000 fine for breaching licensing rules.